We did something new this time for camping. And what are you calling it, James? I am calling it surf and turf camping. And why is it surf and why is it turf? Because we're we are, on the land. We are on the land and we're on the water, but not the coast. No, be surprised. we are in the Central Valley of California, which most people think is farmland, and we are camping right on the California Delta, which is a waterway that connects to the ocean. We are at Village West Marina and RV Park. I'm, I'm James. And I'm Paul. And Chompers and is here. And of course, our travel <laughs> companion Chompers, who's a little camera shy today. So this video is a little bit different than some of the coastal camping videos we've been doing as we've traveled the California coast. We are still waterfront. We still and have we, a lot of waterfront And property. we could still get to the ocean from the water in front of us. But actually, we're on what's called the California Delta. And if you're not familiar with the California Delta, it actually extends from the Bay Area, the whole San Francisco Bay Area. And it's a series of waterways that goes all the way into Stockton and to Sacramento. And Sacramento. There's either. huge ports and marinas. So if you grew up like me in Southern California and thought that Stockton was nothing but farmland, think again because Stockton is a big boating area. There's marinas at this, like this one, waterways, and all sorts of water activities. So we have the turf part down in RV camping. You know that, you've That's... watched our videos. But how we get the surf time, yeah. the surf time was we have some friends with a really beautiful boat who came and launched, uh, docked their boat right next to where we parked our RV. And we were able to go out on the boat with them. But also in this campground, it's so pristine. It, it is, is a marina, it, really is. it is a country club, or a, I'm sorry, a yacht, yacht club. club. It's very clean, very pristine. We had full hookups. Um, it the, was quite organized. Yeah, the sites are super clean and organized. Spaced nicely. Spaced nicely. And as you can see from the aerial, we back right up to the guest boat dock. So while we were RVing, our friends were right off our RV uh, in their boat, and which made for a great weekend of fun at exactly. that place. It just happened to be their spring welcome party here. We're in June, and you're not going to believe, but the site next to us, they blocked and left vacant so they could put up a stage for the musicians. So yep. we literally had front, front, row, row, front entertainment. row entertainment. It was great. From our RV having dinner with live entertainment. It was really a great. And they also weekend. had a car show, and we met uh, the owners of the winning car, which was a really cool Thunderbird. And also at this marina is a restaurant. So there's a couple. There's a couple restaurants and, and a sweets shop and lots of things to do here. So you can rent a, kayaks, you can rent paddleboards, you can rent coconut boats. <laughs> yeah. As so as a destination, there really is a lot to do here. Like we just we just hung out at the marina and hung out on our friend's boat. Well, actually, what did we do? <laughs> So we want to give a huge shout out to our friends, oh, Tracy yeah. and Jim, who are the boaters, they who are. alerted us to this um, RV marina park combo. Yep. And we always have a great time with them. Jim actually cooked it, the New Orleans boy that he is. He made some etouffee yeah, for us one night. Yeah, he's a master chef. That was, that was a great meal. That I was picked another fun. night and cooked, so it's always fun bringing friends and cooking together. All right, James, what did you like? What were your favorite things we did this weekend? Well, I'll start with your first question. There's okay. nothing to not like, That's honestly. True. Yeah. It's Our favorite. Th I was able to get laundry caught up. <laughs> oh, That's your favorite here. thing. No, I'm just saying. I meant about the marina. What did you like about? I mean, I like catching up on laundry oh, and God. feeling ready to go because we're boondocking the next few stops. No, no, no. But the marina is very clean, very accessible. You've got the water. There's restaurants if you want to go. The people were so friendly. All the staff were very friendly and welcoming. And uh, there are a lot. I of will say they were super friendly. A lot here. of people yeah. who live permanently on their boats here, kind of like. Um, nomading yeah, in your like RV, they're mo nomads RV on their boat, and they were all very friendly. And it was just, it's just really quiet and polite and nice. I, I will agree Definitely. with you, but 
my favorite thing wasn't laundry. Well, mine At wasn't all. either. <laughs> my favorite thing was it was this place is like where two worlds collide. You've got the RV park, so you've got RVers, and then right off the guest dock, you have boaters. And really, there's a lot in common with our viewers and boaters. You know, we're both Very self-sufficient. Much. We both are, you know, worried about our water tanks and our gray water tanks and our electricity and stuff. So it was kind of cool to have the two worlds collide and be able to enjoy both parts. Like, our, our boating friends came up and enjoyed the RV park, and we went on the boat with them and enjoyed the, the boating part, which is really cool. So if you have a chance, even if you don't have boating friends, we would totally recommend checking this place out. It, Absolutely. It, it's, it's probably one of the nicest kept from an RV park perspective, RV parks, super friendly. And you could, if you don't have boating friends, just rent a boat. And you, you can, can rent, rent the watercraft here to play yeah. on the water if you want. So absolutely yeah. check it out. If you are in the Delta um, yeah. near Stockton, Sacramento, there's a lot of waterways here. So check it out. This for park in general. So or there's more in, in the particular. central, yeah, there's more in the central valley than just farmland. There are marinas and water sports. So, so surf and turf. Yep, surf and turf That's another vacation. definition. So come join and see what you think. And as always, thanks for watching our videos. If you like the information we're given, please hit that uh, like button and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. And if you hit that little bell, you'll get notifications when we post new videos because we're always on the road. We like to be notified of things. Exactly. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Travel be safe, safe out there.